Hey guys, what's up? Bro here. So I wanted to make a video kind of going over Legion add-ons and the available healing add-ons that I personally recommend or I find a lot of healers uh, recommend as well. Kind of the most popular ones. I do have a video previously, which you can go and check out over there in the corner, um, which goes over some additional healing add-ons and shows each one, pros and cons, all of those. But for today, I'm only going to go over the default raid frames, which is already built into World of Warcraft. We're also going to go over Grid and Grid 2, and then we're going to be covering Voodoo, which is my personal favorite. I'm going to try and do pros and cons at each one and show each add-on kind of in its basic, or if I already have it set up, like Voodoo. So, you know. <laughs> But thank you so much for watching this video, and you know we're just gonna jump into it. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below or send me a message. All right, so the add-on that we're looking at now is Grid 2. Grid 2 does require a couple other extra add-ons that's part of Grid to set it up. But beyond that, it's really not too difficult to use. Um, to access it, you just backslash Grid 2, and here you go. You can set up different textures for it, depending on how you want it to look. Um, you can make it horizontal, it has indicators, so you can put where you want things to show up. If you want to show someone's death or color, and you can kind of, it shows your current statuses, you can change the layout, you can pretty much customize this to be anything you want. Now one of the downsides to using Grid 2 or Grid is it doesn't have a built-in mouse over system or a built-in click system. So you will have to download an add-on called Click, I believe it's C-L-I-Q-U-E, I will leave a link in the description box below. And that allows you to use basically what Voodoo allows you to do, where you can like right click and set up different spells for different mouse clicks. Um, you can do like a control right click can be shield or, or whatever. Um, it does also have indicators here. Um, as you can see, when I shielded myself, this little blue thing showed up. Um, but what I like about this add-on is it does get fairly small. So if you're in a large raid, it definitely comes in handy. Um, it doesn't really take up very much space, which is always nice um, in terms of screen space. But I kind of wish it was a little bit more customizable than it is. Now we're going to take a look at regular grid, I guess. You can download either of these, figure out which one works best for you. Um, some people prefer grid and some people prefer grid 2. I think in the past I used grid and then I also used grid 2. Um, once again, it's pretty much the same. You have these indicators that indicate different spells and other things. Backslash grid brings up your customizing you can turn off the tab you can lock the frames you can do horizontal or vertical um, you can set up different indicators so if you want to see like when you're a priest your priest so if you want to see you know in your raid team when someone's life cocooned you can have that indicated you can put where you want to show up you can have it so as a border you can have it showing as a healing bar you can pretty much put things anywhere you want them to be, which I think is really nice in an add-on because sometimes you want to see certain things and sometimes you just do not care. But I think Grid is a pretty solid choice. It's what a lot of healers used, especially in the beginning. Um, it's one of the first add-ons I used after I discovered I wasn't really a huge fan of Healbot. Um, I checked out Grid and I liked it, but then I discovered Voodoo and I tended to like that more. Of course, that doesn't mean you have to use Voodoo. Like, use whatever you're comfortable with. I think my biggest tip with finding a healing add-on is find the one that works for you. Like, first figure out, well, what kind of healer do I want to be? Do I want to do mouse over macros? Do I want to click to heal? Do I want to just target people and heal them? I personally prefer the click system where I can just use my mouse clicks or control clicks or shift clicks. Um, but mouse over macros are always a really good alternative to that. If that's something else you want to do, you just have to kind of set them up, which I'll show you kind of a basic one in a second. Um, so you really just have to decide what you want to use and what you're most comfortable with. All right, so here are the default frames. So one thing that comes in handy with a default frame is setting up a mouse over macro. Basically how that works is when you hit the key on your keyboard or you hit it on your mouse if you have an MMO mouse like I do um, and you're hovered over that person, it'll use that spell. So this is the very basic one. You just do show tooltip, which will show kind of the icon that you're using for that spell, slash target, mouse over, and then slash cast peer plea. Super simple. Um, I'm just going to put it in place of my other plea. But if I just hover over myself and put three, it will automatically do it, um, and I can just heal everybody. I can just hover over everybody and their mom and give them a heal if I wanted to. Um, it's super easy to use. I really like it. 
and it'll just target whoever you're mouse over. So even these NPCs and this random horde person that I obviously can't heal, but they're next to me. Um, and then to edit, you just go to this little left panel, click the I in info, and you can kind of set stuff up. So you can lock it, um, you can turn off the border, which I personally don't have showing. You can make this pretty big. My only complaint with this is it doesn't get very small. Um, I wish it got a little bit smaller in width um, and that you could kind of resize the icons and how they show up, make them a little bit bigger, make them a little bit smaller. I just wish it was a little bit more um, customizable, essentially. But the benefit to using the default RAID frames, which are built into WoW, is you don't have to install anything extra. You can, of course, use something like click with it or mouse over macros, but beyond that, you don't really have to worry about the add-on breaking when a new patch is updated, um, because the only way that would happen is if the game broke, which would be bad. <laughs> so hopefully that doesn't happen. And if it does, you wouldn't be able to heal anyway because the game would be broken so you wouldn't be able to get in. But the default raid frames are definitely a pretty good start if you're kind of new to healing and you just want to check something out. I would definitely check out Click or use or set up some mouse over macros. You can Google and look up some really good mouse over macros. I'm just going to give you the very basic and it it'll definitely kind of set you in the right direction. And if you discover you really like healing, then I recommend checking out Grid or checking out Voodoo or checking out something else and seeing, you know, if you like that better. So last but not least is Voodoo. This is my preferred add-on. The way it's set up is it's already kind of has click built into it. It's just part of the add-on. So if I right click, that is plea. If I middle click, that is shield. Um, and you can set up different things. So like you can set up a control right click to be penance or something like that. Um, this is definitely my preferred add-on for healing. I'm going to sound completely biased because I love this add-on. I think it's an amazing add-on. I would marry this add-on if it was possible. I would be Miss Voodoo. You know, I'm, I'm totally cool with that. Um, the definite con to this add-on is it's extremely confusing when you're first setting it up. It is a very confusing add-on. There will be a video link over in the corner. Uh, for you guys to check out and that is a setup video for Voodoo that I think I put up a couple years ago But it's still very current to it today If you do of course have any questions about Voodoo, Grid, or any healing add-ons Feel free to ask them in the comment section below or send me a message and I will try and help you to the best of my ability But you can pretty much set up your spells, you can set up buffs, you can set up debuffs, panels, colors Like you can set up pretty much anything in here and how you want it to display. This is how I like mine to display. I like having it display certain spells in certain areas. I like it display a roll icon and I prefer to show the percentage. I just really like Voodoo over all the other add-ons because I also kind of like how it looks visually as opposed to Grid or Grid 2, but it's also a little bit more customizable than just using something like the default raid frames. But as I mentioned earlier, you just really need to find an add-on that works for you. If you're comfortable with Healbot, use Healbot. If you're comfortable with Voodoo, use Voodoo. If you really like using Grid, use Grid. If you just like using default, use default. Find an add-on that works for you, find a healing setup that works for you, but don't be afraid to kind of expand on it. Like I use default frames for the longest time, but then I checked out Healbot and I was like, oh, this is kind of fun. And then I checked out Grid and I was like, ooh, I like this too. And then I checked out Voodoo and I fell in completely in love with Voodoo and I've used it since like Kata or something. You know, don't, don't be afraid to try different add-ons and don't be afraid to kind of expand your healing horizons, but don't feel like you have to. Like use what you want to use, like what you want to like, that's totally up to you. Just please don't use Helium. Please. If I have to explain why you shouldn't be using helium, then you shouldn't be using helium. <laughs> I'm just saying. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I put out new videos every week. And be sure to check out my previous video. Once again, I'll leave all the links in the description box below to all of the add-ons that I mentioned and the mouse over, basic macro, and everything. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And let me know in the comment section below what you use for your healing add-on. Um, as I said, I use Voodoo. I even use it on non-healing tunes because I just like how it looks. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this video and goodbye.